What is up, MFers? I hope you're having an amazing weekend or had an amazing weekend at this point. It is that time of the month. What time of the month is that? Well, it's that time of the month that I do my little mystery tackle box pro unboxing. So what we're doing in today's video is I am unboxing my mystery tackle box pro box for the month of November and then I'm going to rig them up my rods, head out to this sexy little lake right here and show you guys who are part of mystery tackle box who got these baits how you can use them to catch more fish as we move into these winter months. Now you may wonder why I'm wearing this ridiculously awesome shirt and i'm about to explain that to you right now so i got some exciting news mystery tackle box is having a giant giant sale this black friday coming up on subscriptions apparel baits almost everything on their website huge huge deals including this sexy bass christmas ugly sweater type shirt and let's be honest you don't want to be one of those clowns out there at two o'clock in the morning bumping elbows with a bunch of freaking weirdos at these big box retailers and not sleeping and free freezing your butt off you don't want to do that you want to be smart you want to go shop online at places like mystery tackle box especially because you love fishing so you want to find out what type of awesome stuff mystery tackle box is going to have on sale on black friday hit the link right down below top of the description that way you can sign up for the mystery tackle box text subscription service and this isn't a text message service it's going to blow you up every day or anything it's just going to give you a couple updates a month let you know what type of mystery tackle box deals they have going on, on their website awesome subscription service to sign up for i'm signed up and it lets me know whenever they have anything on sale also obviously got my new melican fishing apparel go pick up one of these hats i'll link those down below as well so Let's get into this unboxing. One more thing I almost forgot to tell you guys. I am going to be giving away this Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box after this video. So stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to win my personal Pro Box that I'm about to use right now in this video. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll let you know how you can win it. All right, so we got the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box for the month of November. I am pumped to get into this. I haven't even seen these baits, but we're out here at this lake. Uh, it's got a lot of standing timber, cleaner water. So I'm really hoping there's some baits in here that are gonna allow me to catch some fish in this video. If not, that's cool. I'm gonna show you guys how you can use them on your bodies of water to catch more fish. Let's get it open. All right, so to start off the box, we always have this little pamphlet slash card that says what is in every box, the MSRP. The exact colors, everything on it is right here when you open that box. So I'm gonna read down the list. We're gonna unbox these, take a look at them really close up, and then like I said, take them out, catch some fish on them, I hope. So first bait in the box is the Berkley Digger Crankbait. Now this is a bait right here, this Berkley Digger Crankbait. Like I told you guys last month, I've been shooting a lot of videos for Mystery Tackle Box, so I've had a lot of these baits previously, and I've gone out, fished with them, tried them out, and made some videos over on their channel on Mystery Tackle Box on YouTube. This bait right here was a really, really cool bait that impressed me. This is the Berkley Digger 8.5, and it's in a bright red craw color, which probably isn't gonna lend itself very well to this really clean water I think will be out here today. But this bait has a really nice wide wobble, so whenever you're around riprap, 45 degree angle banks, uh, any type of chunky rock, which is where a lot of those bass start to stack up when the water gets a little bit colder, and of course, off-colored water with this bright red color crankbait, absolutely gonna be money. This is a $6.99 MSRP bait. I'll show you guys how to fish that out there a little bit more. Next bait on the list is the heavy metal tungsten football jig. You know, this is another bait um, I, I'm really, really fond of because you guys know how much I love throwing football jigs and throwing jigs in general. This heavy metal football jig is actually a tungsten head football jig. We know tungsten's super expensive, um, but, but tungsten it has huge advantages over lead. The sensitivity is so much greater because it's a lot more dense material, and they threw one of these in their box. This is a 529 retail bait, and they gave it to me in a really good peanut butter jelly type color. So super stoked about that. Next bait on the list is the Mighty Minnow from Smart Baits. Here it is right here, Smart Baits Mighty Minnow. So we have a soft plastic jerk bait, fluke type bait. Let's take this out. I haven't actually felt this one at all. Yeah, it looks like identical to a fluke. You know, a fluke has been a, a proven winner um, forever, forever, forever. And, and this guy shouldn't be any different. This is a soft plastic jerk bait. You can fish a weedless, you can fish it on like a scrounder or something like that. Uh, but the, these are just fish catchers. They're super natural. And um, they actually sent a rigging system. I'm gonna show you in just a second. That'll be awesome and perfect for this bait. Looks like they retail for $3.99. So we already got 
some, some plastics, a crankbait, a football jig that are really high dollar, high value type baits. Next one up is the Castaic Boyd Ducket Topwater Lure. Now, this is a really cool bait. I, I think I had my box uh, a couple months ago in a different color. This guy right here retails for $7.99. It's like a longer pencil popper type lure, and it's one I fished with in the past. The benefits of this bait, it's an awesome walking bait. So it's it's just like a walking topwater bait, like a spook or something, um, but it's a little bit more subtle. And the, the more subtleness is awesome when they have really slick, calm water conditions, but we're pretty slick, calm today. So it would be a good bait. Now, the problem is the water's 40 degrees here and top water just is not the deal. They, they won't commit to it when the water's super, super cold. But down south right now, if your water is in the 60s and even in the 50s, all the way down to 50 degrees, I'll throw top water. This is an awesome bait to pick off some really big fish as they move up and follow those shad to the back of those creeks. Next one up is the Bagley Shallow Balsa Shad. Retails for $9.99. There it is right there. I made a video for the Mystery Tackle Box for this bait, so I used it a lot last month. You guys know I love throwing crankbaits, and this is a really, really cool design. It has this really unique L-shaped bill to it and this long, slender minnow profile. That L-shaped bill gives it a lot tighter shimmy wobble, not a big, wide wobble like a lot of crankbaits. So this is perfect for the, the colder temperatures, the more lethargic fish, especially if they're up on flats or flatter points, stuff like that. And I actually got a little secret I'm gonna show you guys when we get on the water to help you catch more fish on this bait when this water gets super, super cold this fall. Next bait on the list, the Mad Packa from Net Bait. So here it is right here, got the Baby Mad Packa from Net Bait. You guys know I love Net Bait products. I use them as jig trailers a lot. Well, this right here is a creature bait. And the reason I like this bait right here, I'm glad they gave it to me in a natural color. That's gonna be really good. Uh, potentially if we can get some fish to bite in this cleaner water today. So this Mad Pack is a lot like a lot of creature baits on the market, but it has some very unique characteristics. It's got these two big craw flapping arms right there that are gonna put out that awesome vibration uh, in the water that the, the Met Bay Pack across everything has been known for forever. And then it's also got these two appendages up here, these kicking appendages that, that displace a lot more water as well, plus this uh, the, twi the twister tails on the back, which I've Obviously, I've been catching a lot of fish on those lately, so should be a winner by itself on a Texas rig, or you can fish it on a jig as a jig trailer, or you can fish it, pff, get out of here, Nat. You can fish it on a Carolina rig. Really, really good dragging bait this time of year, and uh, definitely gonna be a fish catcher. Hopefully, we can get some on it today. All right, so we've got one more bait in our box. It is actually a rigging system, a terminal tackle, and that is the Lucky John Donkey Rig. It's a mystery tackle box exclusive, so what you get in here, two extra wide gap hooks and two swivels. So those are made to go along with these baits right here. These is Mighty Minnows from Smart Baits, the soft plastic jerk bait. Any fluke bait will work on this. It's made so you can rig it as a double fluke rig system. Now, for those of you that have used a double fluke rig, it's a really, really sneaky good presentation whenever the bass are chasing shad. So as they move back, follow this shad this fall, awesome rig to throw. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen it, I'm gonna rig it up, show you guys the rigging method here in just a second when we get the boat out on the water. Basically, you can rig two of these soft plastic jerk baits at a time. And in this situation, for me, for drawing power, for getting more bites, two is definitely better than one. All right, that's it. That's all the baits I have on my Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box. Really stoked to get out here, fish some of these baits. And I wanna let you guys know one thing before I get out here on the water. I wanna remind you, you don't have to sign up for a full year subscription to Mystery Tackle Box. You can try out just one box if you want, but this is probably one of the best times you can go sign up or sign someone else up as a gift just to try out Mystery Tackle Box. That way, if you have a loved one that loves to go out and fish, a son, a daughter, uh, a dad, whatever that likes to go out and fish, you can sign them up for Mystery Tackle Box and they can not only have Christmas next month in December, but it's like Christmas every single month when you get that Mystery Tackle Box full of a bunch of different baits. And then you just head on over to my channel, watch the video to see how to fish those baits. You go out and you catch fish on them. Boom, doesn't everyone wanna catch fish? That's my goal here. So if you wanna go try it out just for one month, one box, whatever, you wanna get a full year subscription, whatever you wanna do, go down there'll be a link right down below right below the text alerts link and you can go sign up for mystery tackle box or sign up someone in your family as a gift all right no more talking this lake looks too damn good let's go right him efforts here we are We're gonna start off flipping the little mad packet crawl like i said 
This is my favorite way to rig this by far. A Texas rig creature bait has caught me so many fish over the years. And so we're gonna kind of flip this around some of these deeper timber areas, see if we can get a bite on that. And then I also got it rigged up another way. I'll show you here in just a second. All right, so I've been flipping around for a little bit uh, with the pack across, no dice. I mean, this water is freaking 40 degrees. Did I mention I'm jealous of you guys down south that still can get on a flipping bite? But regardless, that uh, that creature bait flipped around a Texas rig is a really good bait for isolated shallow cover this time of season. Now, flat-sided crankbaits are awesome whenever the water's cold. So fall is a great, great time to throw them as the water gets really, really cold. And the fish will even eat them way, way uh, as the water gets crazy cold into the 30s but they have a propensity to be extremely difficult to cast because they're light. A lot of times they're made out of balsa, just like this guy. And so one thing you can actually do is add a bunch of lead wire. Um, I get this from the hardware store, you can get it on Amazon, wherever. Lead wire is super easy to work with and super pliable. So, and that does two things for you. One, you can cast them further. They're really light, they cast like crap, so this will make them cast further. And two, they suspend this way. You can weight them just right so they suspend. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. The water is pretty clean. But my dude right there, he's suspending. So not only does he have this really nice, tight, natural action, but he suspends. So you can throw it out there, and this is how I like to work it. So you can throw it out there, and I like this more for like rip wrap and stuff, but it'll work on this type of cover too, the steeper, um, steep banks, standing timber, stuff like this, and clean water. I like to throw it out there, I'll crank it down a few times, and then I'll just sweep the rod. Just like that. It's kind of like fishing a jerk bait really, really slow. And it helps if you can dig it down into some cover. And then you can also, you know, kind of hit it a couple times, twitch it just like a jerk bait as you're working it through that cover. Now I will work it faster than a jerk bait, so I won't, uh, those, I won't have those long five, eight, 10 second pauses in between my poles, but this is way more natural than your typical diving, moving crankbait. It's already a natural bait, but fishing it like this so the bait's suspending can be absolutely freaking killer a lot of times this time of season. Oh yeah, that's what you want right there. Ugh. Ah, had a bite. It's a good sign, right? All right, so I just had a bite on the crankbait, fishing over kind of a shallow grass flat right here. And I'm gonna throw in what is an awesome follow-up bait, which is this donkey rig. So we got the double rigged fluke system right here. Let me show you how you do this. So I use a terminal tackle provided in my mystery tackle box and I tied up two leaders. So we got two separate leaders here. You want to tie one about 20 inches long and I like to tie the other about 16 to 18 inches long. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a swivel and then you're going to have about 16 inches of line on the shorter one and then your extra wide gap hook and your jerk bait. So you're going to attach that to your main line and then you're going to do the exact same thing with another piece of line, another swivel, another section of line. But this one you're going to make about 20 inches long, attach your extra wide gap hook and your jerk bait. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide that shorter length of line segment onto your main line. So it goes right through the other side of that swivel just like so. And then you're gonna tie a knot onto the other end of the longer length of line swivel. So what that allows for is total freedom of movement. You know, if you hook a fish on this top one, it's not going to go down and break you off easy like a, like a drop shot knot or something like that. Um, but it allows total freedom of movement and that freedom of movement in the water. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this because the water is a, a little bit stained back here. I'll try to kind of fish it through the top. It allows those baits to have the, the effect and the, the appearance that they're actually chasing each other like two bait fish, which gives it twice the draw of just your, your regular, typical single fluke rig. And it can be absolutely deadly whenever bass are chasing shad or ever you just wanna draw them up. If they miss your topwater bait or something like that, this is an absolutely deadly rig. It also casts really, really well. Uh, you'd think with weightless flukes, it wouldn't cast well. When you put two of them on there, you got two extra wide gap hooks, some heavier hooks, and then the swivel system up here that actually casts really well. You can make really long casts with it. You know, since today is a little bit colder, I'm probably gonna fish these a lot slower than I would if I was around like schooling fish or something. So maybe just like twitch, twitch, and then I'm just gonna let it sit there, let it kind of sink, let them kind of work together. They have this nice undulating motion when they fall. And then you just kind of work it over the top of whatever cover, whatever point, rock bank, flat, stump, whatever you wanna work it next to. 
and uh, really a sneaky, sneaky, deadly way to catch big fish and a lot of fish. Whew, man, I've been fishing for about two and a half hours now. I've had one freaking bite. So I suppose it's time for me to pick up the last bait I have tied on to show you guys how to fish, even though I don't know how to catch fish today. I promise you these methods will catch fish this time of year. I don't know what these fish's deal are today. I don't know if they don't like the, the clouds that are out today or what, but it is freaking tough. But uh, yeah, here's the last one we're gonna throw today. I don't think this is gonna need a whole lot of introduction because you see me throw a football jig and almost every video all year round. This is the heavy metal football jig. And what I did was I cut one of those pack across way, way down. We're gonna pull all those appendages apart so it has all the action, but I cut it down. And so, and so as you can see, it makes a really nice trailer. It's a lot like those twin tail grubs I've been throwing lately, but it has some nice craw flappers too. But basically I got this nice point here that separates a, an arm that goes back there and kind of a main leg arm that's right here. This is an awesome place to throw this guy. So basically all I'm gonna do cast it out and you got to kind of be a visual thinker whenever you're throwing a football jig because you're going to be dragging it horizontally the entire time especially this time of year i'm not going to be hopping it around a whole lot this is a dragging bait which is really nice because it's tungsten so it's going to transmit those bites really really well it's awesome mystery tackle box put a high dollar product in there like that from heavy metal tungsten anyways this point comes out right here so you just need to kind of visualize how that's going to go into the water you know when i drove by there on my side imaging i saw a whole bunch of fish suspended out off the edge of it those aren't necessarily your active fish but the fish that move up onto these points will push some bait fish up there or just use it as an ambush point and sit there all day um, and, and really ambush right there so that's a perfect place to throw a football jig and kind of drag it and kind of lightly pop your rod if you get hung up on any grass or any type of tree or anything dragging it across there is perfect another place you guys see me throw football jigs all the time that i love this time of year is deep rock piles deep rock piles and deep rock breaks are, are absolutely a bass magnet when the water cools down to the 40s unfortunately there's no rock in this lake that i know about so these points and stuff like this these deep channel breaks are going to have to suffice for me dragging this football jig around for you guys today but uh yeah pick up a football jig just drag it long cast drag it over the cover and that's how you're going to get bit i know it's something that requires a lot of patience but trust me the rewards are freaking awesome when you get bit on a football jig you can catch some of your biggest bass of the season on a jig you've seen me catch big ones on it all year round so uh definitely a good bait they threw in here today ah had one down there digesting it i was picking my nose well that was uh that was difficult that was really really tough we caught zero fish did have some bites so that was good and what sucks is i was super stoked about this box i had a lot of good baits and they just Fish weren't biting today for whatever reason. I know one reason they weren't biting is because the damn water's 40 degrees. And so I didn't even think it was probably worth throwing the topwater bait, that, that BD topwater walking bait. But like I said, if you got shad moving back into pockets, a calm day like today, really a good time to throw that bait if you got warmer water in the 50s. And then again, same thing with the Berkeley Digger crankbait. That thing is absolutely money when you're throwing it on riprap in five to eight feet of water. We don't got no riprap in these parts. The thing that sucks is I could have done this video in my basement and just done the unboxing there. But I do think it's important when I can get out. You know, it's going to be really cold the next few months and tough to do. But when I can get out to get out, show you guys how I use these baits, how I work them, how I approach the, the cover that's in front of me. So despite not catching any fish, I hope you guys learned something from this video. And don't forget to try that lead wire around your hooks on those uh, flat side crankbaits this fall and the end of the winter. That can be absolutely deadly. I don't know why the fish weren't buying today, but it's, it makes a natural bait even more natural. It makes it suspend, makes it slow rise, slow sink, whatever you want to do. It can be absolutely the ticket in the same way that a jerk bait is, except you can cover a little bit more water because you can fish it a little bit quicker. But the great thing about me sucking, and even though I said I was going to do it anyways, is let's give away that entire mystery tackle box for November mystery tackle box pro box that is that i just use the baits from i'll even throw in that bagley shed with the the wire already on the hook so you can leave it on there you don't got to worry about suspending we're going to do it just like we do a lot of the giveaways we're going to have you comment down below go hit the thumbs up and subscribe to melican fishing those three very simple steps so what i'm going to do a week from today we'll do a random comment generator i'll pick a comment down below make sure you're subscribed to melican fishing and then i'm going to post the winner on this video i know a lot of people got questions when are you going to post the winner of this one I, I post all of them on this video one week from today so a week from today i think i'm putting this out on sunday so next sunday check back i'm going to put giveaway winner in the description and then whoever wins this box 
they hit me up, I ship them this awesome box. That's all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to go down, click the link below, sign up for those MTB mobile alerts so you can know when this awesome shirt is available and then the link right below that if you want to try out mystery tackle box even if it's just for one box for one month you can totally do that but like i said if you sign up for six months three months a year whatever it really is like christmas every month so if you got a fisherman in your life or you want to try out a whole bunch of new baits build up your arsenal it's an awesome opportunity to do that click on that link. I know a ton of people clicked on that link and got subscriptions last month and they've been extremely happy. Got a bunch of great feedback on that stuff. So, so hopefully you guys are enjoying your November box and you can go out and fish them the ways that I taught you and hopefully have a lot more successful day than I did. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. I'm, I'm getting out of here. It's been three hours of nothing. I'm going to go to another lake, maybe film another video if I can catch some fish there. Maybe not, but at least it's not 20 degrees today, so I'm not going to go straight home at this point. But thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I am out of here. Peace!